Hello, I'm Henry from Henko Julfo, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use VMware Fusion to integrate Windows and OS X to make using a Mac as full an experience as possible as you'll be able to use Windows programs on your Mac. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is download and purchase VMware Fusion. Now VMware Fusion is a really good piece of software. It's from the guys at VMware who are brilliant. They make VMware Server as well. VMware Server is great for starting a VPS company if you were thinking of doing so. Um, and they have plenty of VMware products, VMware Workstation for the PC as well. And VMware Fusion just happens to be their Mac edition. Okay, now since a version or two ago, VMware Fusion has included a feature called Unity, and I'll be showing you what that means in just a minute. But first of all, you'll need a virtual machine with an operating system, probably something like Windows XP on it, um, or if you have like a Mac Pro or something, I, I've only got a Mac Mini so I can only have a lower spec op operating system on it, um, but I've... Um, I would have put XP on it, but I lost my XP disk, so I put Windows Server 2003 on it, which works not too bad. And uh, the first thing you need to do is install an operating system on, so yeah, Windows Server or whatever you choose to put on there, probably XP if you've got a lower spec uh, Mac, or if it's a higher spec Mac Pro or something, feel free to go ahead with Windows 7, or even Vista if you're that sad. But, anyway, continuing with this, once it's installed and ready to use, you'll need to install VMware Tools. This is very easy to install because um, because uh, VMware automatically, I believe, or, or I think when you finish installing Windows on it, it will come up with a little wizard telling you to install VMware Tools on the, um, on the virtual machine, so that we can use the feature that I'm about to show you. Now, you can use your virtual machine just like this, so you can start your programs. Um, takes a while, it's only got something like 384 meg of RAM on this, so it takes a bit of time, but yeah, I say it now. You can use it like that, but if you're using Windows, um, a Windows program in that environment, you can put it full screen, obviously, you can have it like that, but really, it's probably best to have more integration. And that's why VMware made a feature that they call VMware Unity. Now, I'm just about to show you. So, I'm going to have Firefox open, just make it a bit smaller, so put it up there. And then I'm going to have Notepad open as well. Got those two programs there, right? Now, all I'm going to have to do is click this magical button here called Unity. I'm just going to go ahead and click that now. And BAM! Notepad and Firefox are now on my Mac right here and ready to use. And you can even see that in the menu bar at the top it's got Firefox. And if I switch here, it's got Notepad. So it's really good. It has all the features um, and full integration with the Mac. It still has the menu bar here as well, that doesn't switch to the Mac, but it's very, very good way to integrate Windows and OS X together if you still need to use um, Windows programs, so if you use MIRC um, to connect to IRC networks, then that will obviously work really well on here, because it is running in a Windows environment, it's not like an emulator, it is running in a Windows environment, it's just running all your Windows programs in the Mac desktop. Um, and uh, so you can just you know make things smaller, bigger, maximize, minimize, and close. Um, when you want to go back to it, it doesn't actually sit in the in the dock or anything. But you get this little icon here. You do another thing is you get all the Windows icons as well up here. So I've got the safely remove hardware thing there, and it comes up with a normal safely remove hardware menu. But if I click this little VMware icon, it comes up with the equivalent to the start menu which looks like this and so it's got my programs here and my computer, my documents so all I need to do to start things is just go to this menu, it's got the search feature so it's really good, really easy 
open my computer and there you go that's got the virtual machine disk all ready to use right there very easy and I can start Internet Explorer why anyone will want to use I I haven't a clue but you can if you really want to there you go it's Windows Server so it's got enhanced security so it won't actually work properly um, because God knows, I haven't a clue why they put that junk there. And my Mac wants to do software updates now, but uh, not now. Um, anyway, it's just just thought I'd show you it, pass it along because it's a really good tool to help you integrate your Windows programs with um, your Mac. So there's no need for having a Windows PC next to you if you want to run your Windows programs. All you need to do is have it on your Mac and then you can just have your Windows programs running and even the Windows programs appear in the dock so it's a great great way of um, integrating Mac and PC together and of course at any point if you want to switch back to having it in the normal virtual machine then you just go to view in the um, VMware start menu thing and then just switch from Unity back to single window or full screen and there you go and everything is back in here so it's just a very good tool. All you need to do is download VMware Fusion from VMware.com. That is, of course, if you're running a Mac, and then you just install Windows on a virtual machine in there. Eliminates the need for having two separate computers, and it integrates seamlessly with OS X. Thanks for watching.